Hello, it's Deborah from The Attic and I have another journal that I want to show you. This is a journal that I've made using exactly the same techniques as I used to make this journal with its lovely neat line of stitching, obviously helped by having the template from the kit for this. So I'll provide a link to that one up there. This has been constructed in the same way but using different papers. Obviously you can use whatever papers you have but this is a new kit that I have in my Etsy store, the link is below. And the theme of this kit is faded roses and there are lots of large folders and lots of banners and things where you can tuck little postcards that are also part of the kit, beautiful background papers. The joy of using a digital kit, and I've used many in the past, is that it makes it much easier for you to construct your background papers. I like tea staining papers. I have a huge box of tea staining papers, but every now and again you just want to make something quick, and especially if you've been caught out and you need to make a gift for a friend, this sort of thing is really quick and easy to make up. And of course, because it's a digital download, you can print off and make as many as you want. I'm going to take you through the elements that make up this journal, so let's get started. Let me give you a quick flip through of all of the papers. I've printed these out double-sided because the joy of using a printed journal or um, a printed kit is that it comes together so very quickly. These are deliberately in nice neutral shades so that you can use these 10 background pages for other journals. Then we come on to the elements of this kit. There are two bands, there's another two later on, I'll show you those in a moment, and then there are some words here in some boxes which are designed to be wide enough that they will fit in this band. And then there are some little mini tags. Oh, there's another page. <laughs> I missed that one. These are some really nice fancy tags and again there are some phrases and some words linked to the theme of roses and these will fit across these tabs as well. There are four postcards, there are just so many elements that you can use and then there are these really nice seed packet advertisements for roses, just for roses. There are some nice pockets, little fancy pockets and these will go in the base of the pages so they're wide enough, they're designed to be wide enough that they will go in the bottom of your journals and then there are two folders with uh, a tab when you cut these out and put them together there will be a tab at the top and then this tab will sort of be on the opposite side and these have again been sized so that they can be sewn or glued into the inside of one of your pages and have a nice tab on display. The most important bit, in a way, is this bit. So these are the two further banners with the roses on that I told you about. And these bands are really useful. If you glue them at the top and the bottom in your pages, you can slide extra things in them. Or you could use them as a very narrow little pocket glued onto the inside of your page on either side. This piece, though, is what helps you pull the whole thing together. I haven't seen this in other kits. I may be wrong, it may be there, but I haven't seen it. And this is a description in both words and then in diagram form of where to position the holes in your journal and then how to thread the thread through the journal so that you end up with a nice neat signature sewn in. And that can be used if you're making any 5 by 7 folded journal, that can be used in any of those. When I did my previous kit when I was constructing the book I did a little experiment and I printed onto ordinary tracing paper and I got this most beautiful effect. So I've done the same again and I'm going to use this to add texture to my journal again. I show you how to do this in the earlier video that I've linked to previously but this is a nice way to add texture to your journal as well as looking really rather pretty and this would make beautiful pockets. I just have to cut off this edge but that's so lovely, so pretty, such a nice addition to a journal. Because I like experimenting 
I thought I would see how it printed on glassine paper. So this is glassine, this is actually a piece of glassine paper that I've used previously for another project and I had it going spare and I thought I'd give it a go. And it's printed really well. There are some smudges. I, I didn't expect it to print as well as it has done. But that again could be cut down and used to create a really nice glassine bag. I want to show you how to make a cover for your journal. Again, I'm using Craftex. This is a really useful, supple, pliant material. You can paint it, you can sew through it. This is a, an old scratchy piece that I've done some sewing on that I'm going to repurpose. And you can uh, glue things to it. I'm going to show you how I did this. This is the first side. I did this as an experiment. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. This is tissue paper, just ordinary tissue paper. And I put on about three layers. I just glued them straight onto the craft text. And then I took two of the sheets from the kit and I cut them down. I distressed the edges a little bit and I glued them onto uh, this, this side. So I glued them so that there is this nice seam in the middle, nice and easy for me to sew my inside pages in when I'm ready. So let me show you on this. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm repurposing this. This is a scruffy piece that I did some experimenting on, but I'm going to use it again. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get three pieces of uh, tissue paper, this sort of size, big enough to go over the edge, because what I quite like is that this hangs over the edge. It's not a neat, perfect finish. The glue that I'm going to use is this. It's a paste, it's called Yes, and when you open it, it's like a solid. It doesn't flow. But once it's activated and once you're using it, it does flow. It's almost like a fluid. I like to apply it just with a card rather than a brush. And a card is, um, is all you need and it's easier to clean as well. And then it creates a really good grab So I'll do the first half. And then I'll do the second half. That's completely covered now. Because I've got stitching on uh, this side, although I'm going to uh, add a folder, I think, to each of these pages, I'm going to add another layer. that two layers will be sufficient. On the other side I did three, but we'll see how this dries. These sheets are dry and I decided to stick with two in the end and I want to give it a rough edge so I'm just going to rip it down the side of the page. I'm going to use a steel rule to make sure that I don't over rip and to help me with a guideline. That gives a really nice sort of shabby, shabby edge into it. And this will be covered over, so I'm not too worried about that little gap there. So I'll finish ripping away the edges. I'm going to be covering over this little patch here anyway, but I find it a little bit offensive to my eye. So I'm going to add a tiny little patch of more of my nice tissue paper. And that's all it is. A little patch repair. I'm going to use uh, two folders. These are from the kit and they are the large folders and I'm going to just stick them into position. I don't want the tab of the folder to stick outside the book and I'm going to glue these down. Those folders um, are glued in nicely now and they give me an extra pocket that I can tuck things into. I want to do a little bit more decoration on the front. This is the front cover so this is how the journal will look and I'm going to use one of the pockets from the kit and I want to attach it there. So I think what I'm going to do because I would like to get some stitching into this journal cover 
I'm going to take this pocket away to the sewing machine. I'm just going to sew down the, the sides and the bottom and then I'm going to glue it in. I'm not going to sew it directly into the kit because then it would interfere with the inside pocket and I don't really want to do that. This is my pocket sewn. I didn't sew the flaps in like that. I just sewed around the outside edge of the pocket because that will mean that I can glue the pocket as it should be glued. And it gives me a little bit of extra depth. It doesn't hug it quite so tightly as if I'd just sewn the whole thing straight down. There's our pocket on the front cover with a tab that we can put in the front. We can put loads in. We could really fill this out and make it look busy and exciting. If you wanted, you could stick those down so that they don't come loose. I'm just going to leave them like that. I quite like them like that. I'm ready now to take my inner pages and stitch them in. I won't show you the process because I showed you in that earlier video when I showed you how to stitch in this signature in this journal. So I'll show you the result. Our journal is nearly finished. It's sewn in and using the template that you'll find in the kit. It's been nice and easy to have a beautiful straight line and easy stitching. But before I say, well, that's us finished, I want to show you a way that you can add ribbon to your journal. Because these stitches are nice and tight, we can take a piece of silk or ribbon, this is sari silk, and we can grab it from underneath the stitch and pull it through like that and that will hold it as long as you're not too rough with it that will hold it nicely and then you can decide exactly where you want your bow you might want it on the side you might want it on the front but that way you have a really easy simple closure that doesn't add too much pressure onto the stitches with my ribbon in place, I'm going to add my large tags into the front. And let's have a quick flip through. to say thank you very much for your time as always thank you for watching i hope you might give this a try this will work with any papers it doesn't have to be these particular papers but if you would like to get the kit it's available on my etsy store and i will post a link below the video and i hope that maybe that gave you some different techniques that you can use on any journal that you make until we meet again take care